Hey guys, welcome back to the Rob Pup YouTube channel, your number one pit stop for all things Eurovision this year. Another huge weekend of Eurovision national final selections have been underway, which means I've got a lot to react to, and today we're starting with Italy. That's right, it's Monday morning here in the UK. I finally finished my weekend of work. I've got my cup of tea at the ready, and that's how you know that I'm ready to start reacting. For the last week, Italy have been going all out with their San Remo music festival, which is obviously huge deal in Italy and the winner of that more often than not ends up going to Eurovision to represent Italy. That has been the case this year and there's already been plenty of story about it. So before I even hear the song I already kind of been following like a little bit of it to know what's going on. I know that the winner was Angelina Mango and the song is La Noir I believe. I might maybe mispronouncing that but I'll find out when I hear the song. But Angelina winning is a big deal. Apparently for the first time since 19 1964, that's 60 whole years ago, a solo female has won this competition, which absolutely blows my mind that it's taken that long. But I know that she's beaten off some real stiff competition. I listened to Annalisa's song this morning. Sinceramente, it's fantastic. So if this song has beaten out Annalisa, then my hype levels for Angelina are definitely there, that's for sure. One last thing before I do begin this video, I would love if you could subscribe to this channel. I've just gone over the 400 mark for the first time, which to some might not feel like a big deal, but it really does mean a lot to me. And I love hearing from you as well in the comments section, because we all have one thing in comment and that is loving Eurovision so if you enjoy these videos please do subscribe. So let's see whether Angelina Mango can continue Italia's domination in this competition and honestly just in every competition in the world it feels like for the past few years. I'm going to be reacting to the San Remo live performance and not a studio performance. I can't wait to dig into this Super Saturday part two. Let's get into it with a cup of tea. Angelina Mango, La Noir, let's go. Okay, it's La Noia. Let's get this started. I love her image. This is interesting. I don't wish to mix like genres, but there's something that's giving me like Italian Rosalia about this. Superb voice. She's so cool. Come on, Italy! This is very good so far. This is not what I'd expect from Italy at all, but I really like her. It's the jacket hanging off with that glamorous dress for me. Yeah, you better find yourself, because me too. Me too, girl. I feel like this is different grounds for Italy. This is a lot more sort of modern and up-to-date than I was typically expecting. This is fantastic. And I'm thinking of the current Eurovision pack. This really stands out. This has got fan favourite written all over it, all over it. There's some really interesting like production and instrument choices here that I think sound, sound like nothing I've heard before in Eurovision. Vocals. She is vocally perfect. Note perfect. Yes, this is it. This is a complete package. Complete package. Period. 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 You know what? I'm going to say it. That is the 11th song I've heard of this Eurovision season. And it's the first time I've heard a song and thought, could this win? It had that immediate impact that I just thought, this, there is something special about this. I was drawn in immediately, and I mean immediately. And everything about this works. I mean, literally every element. When we're watching uh, Sun Remo, I feel like you can never really base what the staging is gonna look like, because I feel like they never bring what they're gonna bring to Eurovision to Sun Remo, because Sun Remo is its own competition. I think it's good that they've taken now to pivot on what they usually send, because for the last two years, we've become a bit used to male balladry. And this year, when France sent Mon Amour by Simone, I specifically thought, oh, this feels like an Italian ballad. Um, so I wonder if Italy will go into that lane as well. Turns out they haven't, and they've completely pivoted on that. They've sent some female pop that to me really stands out, feels very current, and I don't think anything is gonna be in its lane. I mean, fair things first, she is a star. I mean, the whole time I was just like, 
felt like I was in comfortable hands. Like she looks young, but at the same time I was like, oh, she's just got this. Like, she, you know, when you just look at a, a performer and you're like, she's not nervous. She knows that she's that bitch and she can make me believe it. Like I fully believed in everything she was selling me. And what I ended up with was a fantastic pop song. And I don't always, no offense Italy, I don't always come into an Italian video expecting a fantastic pop song. But um, clearly they can do that well as well. So Italy are like, oh, you want us to stop sending male ballads? Okay, uh, well, we're gonna send a female up tempo and we're still gonna come top 10. Uh, Cause this is gonna be top 10, like facts are facts. And what else I thought was fantastic about it was that this song immediately puts me in mind of a song that the are gonna love. It's got those sort of, Balkan Spanish elements that are going to cross over to Europe. But let's talk about the jury because, you know, Italy always do well with the jury because they often send really strong vocalists, often ballads, as, we, as we've discussed. Um, so where does this fall in? Well, they've picked someone who literally has a perfect vocal. This could have been the studio version as far as I'm concerned because I don't think she missed a single moment. They brought it all down to like this a cappella moment where they just let her vocal shine. She didn't miss a single note and went, okay, well, we've answered that problem as, problem as well because like majority are going to eat this up too because they're giving... They give majority no reason not to, they've literally picked a perfect vocalist, so it's kind of like, find a fault in this, because I'm struggling, I'm honestly struggling to find a fault in this, and this is going right towards the top of my rankings. Right now, I reckon this is top three for me. Now we just have to discuss, could this win? Could this win for Italy again? Because I have to think this must be in contention. I really do. I think it's that much of a strong song. And good for her, Breaking the Mold, first female winner in 60 years and what a song to do it. I totally see why this stood out even though I've only heard one other song from San Remo. But that's it from me. I'm clearly a massive fan of the mango. I am a manguette, a mangoni, a Marco mangoni. No one says that, but yes. I don't know what Angelina Mango fans are called, but I am one of them. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. Was this the right winner of San Remo, or would you have liked to see it go somewhere else? And how do you think this will do at Eurovision? Clearly, I think very well, but do you think differently? Do let me know. Give this video a like if you enjoyed what you saw, and hit that bell if you want notifications every time I upload a new video. We are well on our way through the Eurovision entries this year, and I've still got Finland and Latvia to cover from this Saturday. So stay tuned if you want to see what I think of those songs. But for now, this is my favourite Italian entry in a very long while. So I hope you're happy. I hope you've enjoyed the video. But for now, ciao.